Happy Friday, parents. Um, so I'm updating my weekly blog for you. But as I said the other day, I'm going to do a little more video stuff um, just because I'm typing all day. Um, and it's a little healthier for me. So I'll try to make this as quick as possible. First of all, thank you to those parents that have reached out to me. Um, one with encouragement, it's really helpful. Um, two with advice, um, due to one parent, thanks Dan, I have um, had my son connect a new router and my connectivity is much improved. Yay! Um, let's see, so we have just been approved from um, the school that we can use Google Hangouts and yesterday I sat in with a big group of teachers with our IT guy learning how to use Google Hangouts. Today it's, so right now it's 8.35 uh, Friday morning and I have my first attempt at doing a Google Hangout at 9.30. I have another one at 10.30 and another one at 11.30. So today's a blue day and I'm going to try to figure it out with uh, my three blue day classes. So that's one thing that's changed. Um, due to the fact that we are now being told that the earliest we will get out is um, April 24th, <laughs> get out, get out of jail. Um, I've had to adjust my brain, which last time I talked to you guys, I said I was kind of rethinking stuff. Um, I actually had to dig real deep after that one. Um, I started yesterday with two classes, having the kids, again, thanks to the same parents as before, um, do a sit down and do a schedule, a workday schedule, create a Monday to Friday workday schedule. I had kids use um, a thing called Flipgrid where they could, could send me videos and literally like, I think, I think I had like 17 kids do it out of 89. Um, so a lot of them didn't do it, but it was still a success in the sense that the 17 kids that did respond to what their new normal is and what their challenges are really helped me. And then the other thing, the kids yesterday, I had my honors kids do their schedule. And it was very eye opening that some of them are spending way too much time working on schoolwork in this sense. So if you feel that your child is way too bogged down with schoolwork. Um, we're not able to help them. We're not able to see them. We're not able to regulate them. And some kids overthink things and might be doing more than they need to. Some teachers might be giving work that they think will take a half hour and it might take kids two hours and we have no idea because we can't see it. So um, really encourage your kids to communicate their struggles as this goes on. So for example, the one young lady that I went back and forth yesterday, my big advice to most of the kids yesterday was um, Monday to Friday, don't sleep half your day away. Make that kind of like your normal routine, get up at a decent time, get working and really try to be done schoolwork by three. Uh, I think that's healthy. So um, one young lady was, I looked at her schedule and I was like, my eyes bugged right out of my head. Um, and I wrote right back to her and I said, that just what I just said to you, like be done by three. And she wrote a long response back saying, you know, and I could feel her tension in it, just saying that she was trying, but each class's work was taking her three hours and she would even be done after put stuff away after five, but still had to pick it back. This stuff from the day before the next day, everything kept rolling over and it seemed to be building. So that information for me was so helpful because my response back was that she would have to, um, what I want her to do is it's an 80 minute block. So I told her my agenda that I set out. So I set an agenda every day with some tasks to do. What I want her to do is to look at the tasks figure out which ones she feels are most beneficial to her learning and work on those and work on those for 80 minutes, like put her phone away, work on them for 80 minutes, get as much as she can get done in 80 minutes, put it away, email me what she was able to get done and be okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, so I still want them. I told her I still wanted her like taking her, um, 
looking at my books here. So I have a, a stack. Here's two of my stack. I have this one, I have this one, I have another one in my bag and I have another one down here. Um, still want them reading a little bit each day. Um, so that doesn't count for those 80 minutes, but for like the work time, figure that out. So that's something to consider. If you feel like your kids are like doing way too much, ask them to reach out to their teacher and explain it. And then together they can come up with a plan. So that's one. Uh, two, we're going to start using, I think I said at Google Hangouts. So I'll try that today. And that will also help me get a little um, temperature check on everybody. Um, as far as grading my new shift, uh, it hasn't come down yet, but I have a, I have one of those gut feelings that um, everything might end up going past fail because otherwise I, I just don't know how it's going to work. So what I'm doing is I'm making comments on all of the kids work, but all I'm doing for now from this point forward is I'll put a, a date. I'll look at work and I'll put a check mark as far as the kids that I'm seeing work from. If I, if I'm, cause some kids I haven't heard I haven't heard boo from, not many, but a couple kids. I'm like, I hope they're okay out there. Um, but that'll be my like, are they working? Yes. And kind of check things. So I'm going to do my best to really evaluate what work I give, how valuable is it? And, um, and then when I talk to kids today, find out as well, like, is that really look at what I'm giving? Cause I don't know. And if you're like, oh my God, this is a waste of my time, then go to the next thing that isn't a waste of your time. So I try to give them a couple things to work on, but they know better than I do what their day is and what they know and what they don't know. Um, and I can only give them things that they can work on. And then I can give them feedback from afar. Um, so some of those skills that I would have been able to work in with in the classroom, because I can be hands-on one-on-one and talk to kids. I just can't do from home. So we're trying to, trying to do reading, writing, thinking, listening, and speaking. Um, most of my classes, my common core class isn't there yet, but eventually I'm hoping to get a piece of it with them. Um, I'm having all the kids do a research project um, and their choices are either a dream vacation. So they would research places they want to go and they're going to create they're right now in the, in the research phase and they're just researching, researching, researching um, stuff and doing like a big dump. And they have like a week and a half to work on just the research and then I'll go into the next steps or they could do a make a difference project. So it's just kind of like my idea of here, let's do a little research. Eventually they'll make a slideshow presentation out of it. But it's also that idea of eventually we're going to get out of this quarantine. So there's that. So um, as far as you guys uh, stay sane. I'm, I'm sure your end is just as crazy as mine um, with my two boys. We're trying really hard to keep them mentally healthy. Um, get out. Uh, my husband took our youngest son in the morning. The two of them went for a jog yesterday. I took my older son. He and I went for a walk jog. Um, I can't keep up with the other two. Um, but we went out, got some fresh air. Um, we instituted every night after dinner. We play games together at the kitchen table. So we unplug from all the screens. We unplug from all of our their college classes that they're doing online and me teaching and my husband down in his office working. We all converge after dinner and we play a game. So, and uh, by the way, mama won last night. Woohoo! So first night and I'm keeping score. So I made a sheet and we're keeping score. So make the best of this bad situation, do me a favor and reach out if you have questions for me or if you have concerns about work I'm sending or if you have um, advice. Um, we're in this together. So um, take care, parents, and uh, we'll chat later. Have a great weekend.